Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you might be watching. I'd like to demonstrate to you some Apple Mac tips for Excel 2016, the latest version of Microsoft Office Excel. First of all, let's look at bullet points. Many people will say, well, there is no bullet point command up here in the ribbon. Uh, I can't insert bullet points. Well, it's really quite simple. All I need to do is to choose the cell I want the bullet point in, hold down the Option key on the Apple keyboard, and press the number 8. And hey presto, there is a bullet point. You can press the space bar and perhaps type uh, some information after the bullet point. <coughs> to insert another bullet point, what you can do is to hold down the Option key and press Enter, and then Option 8 to insert another bullet point. And you can keep on inserting bullet points until the cows come home, if you wish. So we'll press enter there. There are our two bullet points. To hide the ribbon, if you need more screen real estate here, in the top right hand corner there is a little arrow. If you click that little arrow, it will collapse the ribbon and you can see more of the screen. Click the little arrow again and it brings the ribbon back. So that's nice and easy. Auto-correct. If you make spelling mistakes, uh, and there are some very common ones, uh, for example, uh, I'll type my name incorrectly. My first name is Jeff, G-E-O-F-F. But if I type it G-E-F, I want Excel to automatically correct that particular mistake. So what I do in this cell, I'm going to go to Tools, up here in the command bar and I'll go to auto correct and I'll say replace GEF with GEOFF and now I will add that particular situation close this window and let's see how it works I'll type GEF press the enter key and it automatically auto corrects for me uh, that's nice and easy. One of the advantages of the new version of Excel is that you can save an Excel file as a PDF. And the way we do that is to click File, Save As, and in the file format, click the drop arrow and choose PDF and then Save. So again, very, very handy for PDFs that you might want to send via an email. Show the desktop. Unlike Windows, there is no dark bar in the bottom right hand corner. So what we do, we hold down the command key and we press F3 and that hides the desktop. It's a toggle switch, so command F3 brings it back for me. Save often. One of the golden rules of all computing. Save your work often. And the reason that we need to be aware of this in uh, Excel 2016 for the Apple, that there is no auto save. So remember, hold down the command key, press S, and you'll find that your work is saved. Do it often. To remain in the same cell after you type a word, let's type the word cat. And what we do, we hold down the control key, and press the return or enter key and there we remain in the same cell uh, without going down a cell. Very handy if you wish to then format something in that cell. Selecting cells. You may have data in many many rows or many many columns and you don't want to drag through them because you can easily lose control of the mouse. There's a very simple way to do it we're going to use the, use the down arrow key by holding down Command, Shift and the down arrow key and that selects down to the next empty cell. Command, Shift and the right arrow key selects across. So nothing too difficult with that. Now one of the problems that I had when I first started using an Apple Mac keyboard 
on my uh, notebook, I don't see a home key. So I can't use uh, uh, the control home as I can in Windows. What I need to do is to use the function key with the control key and click the press the left arrow. That takes me up to cell A1. Function, control and the right arrow takes me to the last cell in the spreadsheet matrix. So nice and easy. Remember function, control, left arrow takes you to the home cell A1. Function, control, right arrow takes you to the last cell in the spreadsheet matrix. Now, in terms of viewing what's in the ribbon, I found that when I first loaded this program that I was missing the little group names that I used to find very, very handy in the Windows version. I can put them in the uh, into Apple by doing this. I go to Excel, Preferences, then I go to View, and right down the bottom I see Group Titles. When I put a tick in Group Titles and close this window, there I see my Group Titles in each of the tabs. I just find that very, very handy. So thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe because there will be uh, lots more uh, Apple and uh, also Windows uh, Excel uh, tips and tricks and procedures. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.